Hi everyone, this is Learn Harry Potter with me, your mentor Jude. Hello, witches, wizards, and muggles. Each lesson, we will explore the wizarding world of Harry Potter and the mysteries of the Hogwarts castle. We will create, learn, and play. Today's class is all about the sorting ceremony and Hogwarts houses. We will start with a fun facts quiz, learn about the Hogwarts houses and sorting ceremony, create a fortune teller to see which house we're in, sing the Hogwarts house song, and there will be some extra practice to complete after class. So, let's get started with a fun facts quiz. How many Hogwarts houses are there? Four, three, or eight? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Well done, everyone. There are four Hogwarts houses. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by four powerful wizards. Godric Gryffindor, Rowena Ravenclaw, Helga Hufflepuff, and Salazar Slytherin. They chose to split the students into four houses, each bearing their surnames and featuring young wizards and witches who displayed abilities and personalities they wanted to nurture. Those in Gryffindor are known for being bold and brave. Those in Hufflepuff are known for being loyal, kind, and dedicated. Ravenclaws are known for being wise, creative, and open-minded. And Slytherins are known for being cunning, ambitious, and determined. To sort the students into their houses, Godric Gryffindor used his magical hat, known as the Sorting Hat, to decide which children should go into which house. And ever since, a yearly sorting ceremony places each new pupil into their new home. Every time I take an online sorting hat quiz, they say that I'm a Hufflepuff. But in my heart, I feel like a Gryffindor. So I call myself a Gryffindor. A few other things about me you should know. This is me, Jude. I'm from Liverpool, which is in northwest England. You might know us for our famous football team. And like mentor G, I study psychology at Durham University. Okay, let's get back to Hogwarts. I want you to imagine you've received your acceptance letter from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Congratulations! You will be going to the finest wizard school in the world. You will leave your muggle, non-magic family and climb on board the Hogwarts Express. At platform nine and three quarters. When you arrive, you will sail across the Black Lake from Hogsmeade Station towards the castle. As you walk into the Great Hall, you'll see hundreds of other student witches and wizards. Above you, the ceiling is bewitched to look like the night sky. This is a place stranger and more beautiful than you could ever have imagined. Let's watch this clip from the sorting ceremony in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Come forth, I shall place the sorting hat on your head, and you will be sorted into your houses. Ah, right then. Mm, right. Okay. Gryffindor! And now, let's take a look at what the book says. Welcome to Hogwarts said Professor McGonagall. The start of term banquet will begin shortly, 
but before you take your seats in the Great Hall, you'll be sorted into your houses. The sorting hat is a very important ceremony because while you are here, your house will be something like your family within Hogwarts. You will have classes with the rest of your house, sleep in your house dormitory, and spend free time in your house common room. The four houses are called Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Each house has its own noble history, and each has produced outstanding witches and wizards. While you are at Hogwarts, your triumphs will earn your house points, while any rule breaking will lose your house points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup, a great honour. I hope each of you will be a credit to whichever house becomes yours. So, which house will you be in? Which house do you want to be in? Are you brave and bold like a Gryffindor? Trustworthy and loyal like a Hufflepuff? Clever and wise like a Ravenclaw? Or cunning and ambitious like a Slytherin? The only way to find out is to ask the Sorting Hat. Let's create something so we can test which houses we and our friends and family are in. I'm going to teach you how to make a Harry Potter Hogwarts house fortune teller. As I talk through the instructions, just pause the video if you need more time, or rewind if you need me to repeat an instruction. We're going to start from a plain piece of paper, but if you want to have a printer at home and would prefer to use a printable version, click this link. Okay. First, take a piece of A4 paper, scissors and some pens. If you don't have any scissors, just use your hands to tear the paper. Once you have your piece of A4 paper, fold one corner to the top. Now, cut off the rest with scissors. You'll be left with a square piece of paper. Fold one corner to the other like this. You'll be left with a triangle. Now unfold it and you'll have an indentation like this. Now fold the other corner. Once you unfold it again, you'll be left with an X indentation like this. I want you to fold all four corners into the center. You will have four triangles like this. I want you to flip your paper so the side with the folded triangles is facing the table. Now, fold the corners into the centre again. Your paper should look like this. On each section of the eight sections, you'll write a Harry Potter related word. Hagrid, Dumbledore, Hogwarts Express, your favourite spells like Lumos and Stupefy, places like Hogwarts, Hagrid's Hut and Hogsmeade. Next, open up each flap and write the fortunes. The four Hogwarts houses. Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff and Slytherin. You can add their house crest logo on one side and even write their motto on the other. Once you've finished that, flip your paper again and draw four Harry Potter related drawings. I'm sure yours are going to look much better than mine. You could draw things like Harry Potter's pet owl Hedwig, or a cauldron from Snape's classroom, the snitch from Quidditch, or some books that Hermione is reading. Following this, I want you to fold it sideways, like in this figure. Unfold it, and then fold it upwards, like this. Next, put four fingers in each corner, and it's going to open up like this. Once you're finished, you should have something that looks like this. Of course, I'm sure yours looks much better because you made it unique and special to you. Well done, witches, wizards and muggles. Try it on your friends and family to find out which Hogwarts house they're in. Time for us to sing a song. Make sure you sing along following the lyrics at the bottom of the screen. Ago, this story starts. There were four sorcerers with strong and wise hearts. Brave Godric Gryffindor favored the strong. Those who had courage and knew right from wrong. And Rowena Ravenclaw taught only the best. So kind Helga Hufflepuff would teach all the rest. 
Well done, witches, wizards, and muggles. That was beautiful singing. Now it's time for another fun facts quiz. What Hogwarts house does Harry Potter belong to? Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Gryffindor? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, it's Gryffindor. Well done, everyone. Gryffindor! We're now at the end of the lesson, everyone. I hope you all had fun. If you would like to try some more activities throughout the week, try these. You can read or listen to chapter one of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Take a Hogwarts house quiz. Imagine if you were a Hogwarts student. What would your uniform look like? Which wand would you have? Which clubs would you be in? And don't forget to have fun. <laughs>